faith. But in reality, this is a clash between two worldviews that have much to say about our past, our present, and our future. Dito na kami sa Creation. At ito yung welcome center nila guys. Ayan. So this is the Creation Museum. And this is the entrance. And this is the ticketing boat. So that's the ticketing boat. So daddy paid the ticket. Yeah. Jose, Jose. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no so ayan guys nagkaroon kami ng ano konti sa dito kami guys nagkaroon kami konti aberya dito sa ticketing kasi nagbayad kami ng 15 dollar parking and then kukuha i-upgrade namin yung parking namin kasi everyday parking is $15 pero babalik pa kami dito sa Saturday kasi hindi namin matatapos tong museum visit today because it's just like 3, 3, uh, 3 o'clock already and they will close at 6 o'clock so hindi namin matatapos yung museum so we're gonna come back here we have 3 days parking for $45 instead you pay it $45 they will give you discounted for 3 days na pabalik-balik. So, ayun guys. So, ito guys. Rented ito. There are ba? available rented staff for who need it. And they have a uh, uh, rented for car uh, push cart. So, oh, this is the one they say that they rent. This the yeah, this is the way in. So, ayan guys. Nakakuha na rin si daddy ng ticket at look this thing. But this is not the entrance that we've been last five years. Ang ganda ng bulaklak nila guys. So, so maglakad-lakad tayo dito guys. Or, what is it? What is Wait. Why? So, ayan guys to the museum. Kasi malayo to siya sa entrance. Last time na nagpunta kami dito guys, doon mismo kami sa kabilang side kasi doon kami sa kabila. So, entrance talaga yun ito. Maglalakad ka pa papunta sa entrance. Kasi in other part, ito siya. So, ayan guys. Lakad-lakad. Tanggal ng Queen Lamig. Are you sure you're not cold anak? Malamig yung hangin, guys. I'm not cold. Uh, so, may think malayo-layo yung lalakarin natin. So, and guys, so lakad-lakad tayo, guys. Andito na tayo sa entrance ng museum. Mabaita, hindi siya hindi siya na ganyan kasi wala namang araw ba. Look at dito guys, ang ganda. Oh. So, dito pa tayo sa entrance guys. Ah. So, tingnan mo yung guys. That's it. We take, mommy, take picture dyan before. Daddy! We parking doon before. So, this is the entrance, huh? That's a van. No. Have car, Sam. Oh, car, thank you. Thank you, sir. Continue this. Wow. 
There's this look in the museum there. Yeah, it's all you don't need those for you. Sovinner, Sovinner, you guys. Can you run with there? Oh, yeah, we're gonna go inside soon. So look at the dinosaur now. <laughs> this is a dinosaur. Oh, this is an. Uh, you wanna make a rare? Take a picture. We're gonna find some guys at the like. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You want me to take picture, Jan? Huh? That's so huge. <laughs> nah, I miss yung anak ko doon, guys. Dinosaur life. <laughs> Look at the fish. Look at the stuff. Yeah, I see it. Uh huh. Lots of fish. You see that? That's a big wow. one. So, yan guys, so kumagala. <laughs> Look like we're here. Yeah. 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 Oh, one, one more pala doon. Ba? Look at the dinosaur on the top. <laughs> you see that? On the top. So ayan guys, andito na kami sa loob. But, tingnan mo. Yun yung shardaan guys. Genesis. Doon, guys, oh, so, yung paint, Bibles, look at the great thing, it's cute. Look at this, the stuff that they Genesis, so, someone who make paint those stuff, and dito, guys. Look at this stuff, guys. They make it like old library or, you know. Did God use evolution? No. Cold have wait now. You know how to go this. So, dito guys is the day of creation. God made everything in his in six or twenty-four 
24 hours a day. And then uh, we're just gonna wait daddy here. I'm just gonna have him. Yeah, guys. They make the building like, you know. Beauty. Look. I've always imagined the Garden of Eden as the epitome of beauty. God made that garden a home for the first two people. It was all very good. True beauty. It was easy to believe as a kid. As I got older, I learned about Earth being billions of years old. It challenged my ideas about that garden. It meant that for billions of years, animals lived, suffered, and died. If all of this happened long before Adam and Eve, then how could God view his creation as very good? For years, I struggled to fit billions of years into my beliefs about creation, but it never satisfied me. I mean, if God made a world full of death and disease, what would that say about his character? Does he like suffering and death? Recently I began to realize those millions and billions of years have clouded my understanding. The Bible tells how God created a perfect world, just like I learned in Sunday school, but when Adam and Eve sinned against God by eating the forbidden fruit, That rebellion brought so much tragedy into the world. God's beautiful, very good creation had been corrupted. But if those horrible events were already part of the world for millions of years, Adam's sin had no visible impact. That's very different than what the Bible teaches. But my biggest problem with adding billions of years to Genesis is that it undermined the foundation of the gospel. The whole time I believed the earth was billions of years old, I still believed in Jesus' sacrificial death and resurrection. There was a huge disconnect in my thinking. If Adam's sin did not bring physical death and suffering into the world, which is what belief in billions of years requires, then why is the solution to man's sin the physical death of the Son of God on the cross and his physical resurrection from the dead? If there's no historical connection between sin and the death we see all around us, then the Savior's sacrifice really doesn't make sense. Working through these issues has been challenging. But now that I interpret Genesis according to the plain meaning of the text, I see that Jesus Christ, the last Adam, restores the brokenness brought by the first Adam. And someday, the Lord will bring new heavens and a new earth where there'll be no more pain, sorrow, suffering, or death. He will turn brokenness back to beauty. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Press the button.